Hello Wolfpack, and welcome to Art Plunge. This is a virtual reality art gallery where you get to step inside some of the most famous paintings of all time. In this video, we'll be stepping into five different paintings, and while we're in there, I'll be giving you some fun facts. So sit back, relax, enjoy the sights, and maybe learn a thing or two. The first piece of art is Girl Reading a Letter at an Open Window. This oil painting was created by Johannes Vermeer and completed around the year 1657. Originally, the painting was attributed to Rembrandt, but was correctly identified in 1862. Everything in the painting is meant to drive your attention to the letter the girl holds so delicately. And from x-rays, it was discovered that on the wall, above and to the right of the girl, there was originally a picture of Cupid, though this aspect of the painting was eliminated near completion. That picture suggests that the letter is in fact a love letter. It's also been said that the apples and other fruits lying on the bed represent infidelity, a reference to Eve's sin, which makes this love letter one of an extramarital relationship. Our next piece is The Birth of Venus, painted by Sandro Botticelli, most likely in the mid-1480s. It depicts the goddess Venus arriving at the shore after her birth, emerging from the sea fully grown. There are other gods in this painting though, as Zephyr, the god of the west wind, is blowing Venus to shore. Hore, goddess of the seasons, is ready with a cape to clothe the newborn god. This painting was originally meant to hang in a bedroom, hence the emphasis on a more sensual tone and, well, the nudity. And it's a large painting, roughly 6 feet by 9 feet. Venus, the central figure, is modeled after Simonetta Catiano de Vespucci, considered the most beautiful woman in all of Florence. Botticelli was so enamored with her, he was buried beside her at his request, even though she was married to another man. Up next is a painting you may never have heard of, the Mona Lisa. This famous work by Leonardo da Vinci was painted around 1503, and perhaps continuing for as long as up till 1517. The original name of the piece was Mona Lisa, but with two N's. This version of the word Mona meant Madonna, which translates to My Lady. But a simple spelling mistake has renamed the painting henceforth. Many believe the model of the painting is the image of Lisa Gherardini, but there are also some that believe it's a self-portrait of da Vinci himself. Now, like Whoopi Goldberg, the Mona Lisa doesn't have any eyebrows. This was either done on purpose or it was just a simple lack of completion. There are also three previous layers to this painting beneath what we see, each one depicting the Mona Lisa in various poses. Next is one of my favorite pieces of art, Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh, completed in the year 1889. The painting depicts the view from an asylum, where Van Gogh is being treated for a mental breakdown shortly after his ear slicing. Yet he decided to leave out the iron bars that would have been there blocking that view. Starry Night might be about mortality, based on the inclusion of cypress trees, those large towering things you see prominently in the painting. Cypress trees are often associated with cemeteries and death. They reach toward the stars here, possibly symbolizing death as the only way to take us to the stars. Van Gogh originally thought this painting was a failure. In a letter to his brother, he states that he liked the wheat field, mountains, and trees, but everything else was just nothing. 
the brightest star in the sky, aside from the moon, was actually the planet Venus, though Van Gogh didn't know this when he was painting. Our final piece of art is The Creation of Adam by Michelangelo between the years 1508 and 1512. This painting is part of a complex series of panels on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, each depicting different episodes of Genesis. Michelangelo created his own system of scaffolding so that he can paint these images standing up, not lying on his back, so he'd have more precision. God, as depicted here, was the last part of the chapel to be drawn. Michelangelo wanted to refine his technique so he could depict God perfectly. God is reaching out to Adam to impart the spark of life, but the fingers never touch, so that spark has never been given. Underneath God's left arm is a feminine figure who most experts agree is Eve, her gaze set on Adam. The cloth around God and the other figures can be interpreted in a few ways, but most commonly it's seen as the human brain. But others see it as a womb with the umbilical cord hanging beneath. All right, Wolfpack, that was Art Plunge, an amazing experience that allows you to see art in an entirely new fashion. The, the game is incredibly well done and the art is stunning. I recommend everyone give it a shot. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe learned a little something. Till next time, Wolfpack.